like to go up against a team in another uniform? <laughs> it was good. It was a lot of fun. You know, these are always these are always fun to do. You know, it gives you a good look at another team. Get to run your plays. You get to you know hit somebody that's in a different color jersey, which is nice. So uh, it's been a lot of fun, man. They they were great today, and some good, some bad. A lot of stuff to learn on, and uh, get back to the film room. Yeah, I think I never make assumptions till we watch the tape. Uh, I, obviously, anytime you can move the ball, you're excited. But you know, over a span of a lot of different plays with different periods and different different emphasis, um, you know, you really got to treat each play as its own and uh, you know take one note at a time. So uh, practices like that, I always just wait wait to make assumptions until I watch the tape. <laughs> I'll be back there. Yeah, man, they, they want me to. I'm there. But uh, no, I, I, I'd love to return. Ray Ray's one of the best, so. Where, where do you think the offense is right now? He makes it a training camp. What would you personally like to see more of? Or you know, just kind of give us the state of the offense right now as you see it? Yeah, I think there's, there, it's so hard to make, you know, broad assumptions on it because so many plays are scripted. And it, like I said, it depends on what you're working on. I think we have a lot of ability. Uh, and, and we have, you know, obviously potential is a word that gets thrown around a lot. But at the end of the day, it comes down to execution. I think for us, it's just about executing each, executing each play at a time. Um, so I, as far as how our offense is, you know, I think we have a really good offense. I think there's times where we're great. There's times, obviously, where, you know, we make mistakes. But that's what practice is for. That's what training camp is for is just chopping wood until, you know, you get to the season. And hopefully you get all the kinks out before then so that you're ready to roll week one. They're good, you know. They got a lot of talent. Obviously, um, you know they, the guys on the end are great. Uh, they practice fast, play well, um, run to the ball well. Um, so yeah, I thought I thought they were very good. Do you have an opportunity to catch up with you? I haven't seen him yet. No, I'm, I'm gonna have to go give him a big hug, but I haven't seen him yet. What was unique about what he brought to the Jimmy? Yeah. Man, he's just a stand-up guy. Jimmy's uh, just you know one of the guys. He's. Uh, you know, I think he, he's an interesting guy because um, he doesn't promote himself ever, but he could. You know, he has a lot of – he's won a lot of games. He's obviously a great quarterback who's been successful in the past and um, always has a smile on his face, always has a great attitude and just a really great guy to be around. And if you describe this game in one word, what would it be? Uh, Jimmy's? Ah, oh, man, I'm, I, the, one, the one word answer is I, <laughs> I'd have to think about it. Um, he, he can make any throw, um, smart, um, tough, just uh, a great quarterback to have on, on and off the field. It's a lot more than one word, but yeah. What's your goal? Just, what are you hoping to get out of these two practices after everything's done? Uh, you know, obviously, uh, each play, I think it, your eyes are important. Right now, just seeing the field well, it's important to see uh, your reads on every play. And like I said, just going against a different defense that, that gives a different look, um, being able to understand conceptually what we're trying to accomplish based on what the defense is. So I think for, for me, it's all about eyes uh, continuing to get in shape and um, just continuing to build the callousness of football. Christian, Two more guys. As, a, as a Cal guy, I have some strong feelings about what's going on with conference real life. I, I, yeah, man. We're kind of in the same boat. But how do you feel about the same boat? I think it's sad, man. I think it's really sad. You know, I mean, Pac-12 has been going on for over 100 years. and. You know, it is what it is. I wish, I wish they they could have made it work. I don't know what's going to happen. You know, we'll see. But um, football will continue to go on. Obviously, I mean, you know, I'm hoping uh, you know Stanford and, and all those schools will continue to make big runs and and get big recruits. But you know, it's definitely a change. I think anytime their change comes, it can be scary. But it could be for the better too. You never know. I think we'll just have to wait and see how it plays out. But I'm going to miss watching Pac-12 football. You know, it's a good question. I think every quarterback has different similarities and, and different strengths. I think they both can do that very well. Go ahead. Kyle, Kyle had said if you guys had found a way to beat the Eagles in the NFC Championship game, there was a plan for Philip Rivers to start the Super Bowl. Were you aware of that? <laughs> Was not aware of it. You just told me. Uh, you know, passes the past, and uh, you know, from here on out, just focused on this year. But.
See, when you guys give me information like that, I'm the first time I'm hearing it too. I'm like, huh, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one word. I'd uh, see you guys. Disappointing because I would have been the starter. It felt all right. You know, I felt like I'm always going to be, you know how I am, I'm always going to be uh, critical. There's more there, you know. Um, I think the thing that this team, like our team needs to work on more is coming out of the off day, making the decision going into that next day. Like, you gotta, you got to make the decision in your mind that you got to come out and, and be overly, you know, amped up, overly aggressive. Like, the mindset's got to be there. The mental toughness has got to grow uh, within our team. And it's, it's coming. You know, it's coming. I think we're, we're, we're obviously heading in the right direction, but uh, not there yet. Today, yeah. the, the team stuff seemed to be on one field. Was that weird that you had long periods where you just weren't, weren't practicing? Uh, it was a little different, but I actually enjoyed that part of it. I, I When uh, Coach Shanahan told us that that was going to be the case, I thought it was great. I love when we get to watch the offense you know, operate against their defense and vice versa. Um, so I, we got to see kind of both sides uh, go out there and compete. <laughs> you said that don't get me? Well, well, they don't understand me, you said? Yeah, they know, like, if you're saying, you know, next group or whatever to the Raiders, maybe they don't know what No, 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 no. They, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't think I got to change myself depending on the opponent. Obviously, our team knows how I come every single day. And then uh, it doesn't matter what the opponent is or who it is out there. I try to just bring the same exact intensity, the same standard every day, uh, regardless of who we're playing, regardless of the day. It doesn't change, you know. You gotta, you gotta be the same person every day. Consistency is, is the truest measure of performance. You've seen a lot of Brock in this training camp, and a lot of uh, Trey and Sam as well. How do you feel about you know, the other side of the ball and, and where the quarterback position is with your team? I feel great about it. You know, obviously they're kind of that, that side of the ball. Uh, Coach Shanahan, all those offensive coaches, they're the ones running that show over there. But what I've seen from all three of those guys, four of them, you know, even talking about. Uh, Brandon Allen, I think they all look great. Um, just competitive, working their tails off, making the right decisions, making making the big play throws when they need to be made, and then obviously checking it down when it needs to be checked down. So I think they're all doing the right things. You have uh, flashbacks going against Timmy today? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was fun seeing them. I had to, I had to check them out before practice started, just uh, ask them how things were, making sure they're, they're treating them well over here. He seems happy. Um, it, it was fun to go against them out there again. What was unique about what you brought to your locker room the last several years? Uh, I mean, some guys are just natural born leaders. You know, they, they, you either got it or you don't. And uh, with him, he was a natural born leader through and through. Uh, his competitive edge, every time he stepped out there, um, you know, he was always going to give us a chance. Um, just, just seeing him and his poise out there, he, he, just, he was just a leader through and through. And, I, you know, I, I respect him a lot and I'm grateful for him for everything he brought uh, to our team. Say one more time. Uh huh. Philip Rivers. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's news to me. I, shoot, we didn't go to the Super Bowl, so I guess it didn't, it didn't matter. Yeah. Was it, uh, it looked pretty friendly out there. Uh, was it pretty friendly between the two teams? Uh, I mean, it, there's no bad blood or anything. I'd say, you know, when we're not. Uh, when we're not going, it's cool to just chop it up with those guys. When it's when it's in between the white and we're going, you know, it's it's all about ball and 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 bringing it. I wouldn't say there's bad blood by any means. Did you have anything to say to Jimmy on the field just for old times? Sake? Oh yeah, you know, I'm a, I'm gonna I'm gonna be in Jimmy's ear before before the play starts. I asked him, I'm like, Jimmy, just give me one, man. All I want is one. He didn't give it to me today, so we'll see how tomorrow goes. That's my guy, though. I I, I mean, I love I love Jimmy. I love seeing him succeed and. Uh, he had a great practice today, so I'm in, I'm looking forward to, to tomorrow again. Anything else? All right, thanks, Brad. All right, guys. Thank you. How do you feel about your work with, against another defense? Yeah, I felt good. Um, you know, just going out there, new look, new environment, um, and yeah, not going against our defense. So I felt good just to be able to get a, a different look and and work on the stuff that we need to work on. Um, so that was a good day. Did you do much prep work as far as what kind of looks you might be seeing? Um, a little bit, just like the fronts are a little bit different and whatnot, um, you know, compared to what our defenses run. So did a little 
stuff in that regard. But um, other than that, it's still, you know, just building off of the things that we need to work on, our, our plays, our scheme. Um, you know, not trying to, hey, at practice, we're going to do this, this, and that against their defense. Not like that. So. Would you like to play in the preseason? Um, I mean, I think eventually be able to get to that point. Yeah. Um, I don't think, you know, there's a, a necessity to do it like this week or anything like that. I saw, you know, getting my 11 on 11 reps at practice, getting on, um, you know, my timing and everything down with the receivers and as a whole. So, um, you know, eventually, hopefully, we can get get to a point where we can talk about that. Came in in that Miami game last year, and the offense didn't seem to miss a beat. Do you, do you think that you have similarities to, to Jimmy Garoppolo, just the, the style, what, what your strengths are, those types of things? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I think uh, just how Kyle coaches us, you know, um, how the playbook works, how everything ties together, um, the timing of a play. Jimmy did a great job with, you know, going through progressions and, and just the timing and the operation and stuff. And so I learned from him. And, you know, when I was, uh, you know, the one to go in, you know, I just I was, you know, just trying to do what coach taught us and and um, try to not, you know, be late to any reads or progressions or anything like that. So, um, you know, in regards to like, I think we are a little bit different, you know, um, but at the same time, like you get into an offense, you just got to do what the coach asks and, and be successful in that regard. So I think we both, I guess, have done that. Yeah, yeah, it was good. It was good to see old Jim. Uh, he's doing good. He looks healthy and good. Um, and just talking about, you know, how everything is here and how he lo loves it and um, how we miss him. And, and uh, it's always good seeing Jimmy. So it's great. Thanks back a year. Like, what did you have? You know, you didn't get a whole lot of reps. So what did you gain from just being around him and observing him? Yeah, I think obviously he's a pro. Like he was professional at everything that he did. You know, coming into the meetings. Um, you know how he was in the meeting room, um, in the huddle. You know, before he's about to break a huddle and say a play. Like everything was crisp, and um, so I learned a lot um, from Jim. And, and um, yeah, just how how a professional NFL quarterback is supposed to you know look and act at practice and, and his leadership and talking to guys. Um, he did a lot of great things here, and so just my little time that I had with him this past season, it was a lot for me to learn, and um, it, was, it was a blessing. So. Did you have as much relationship with him outside the meeting room? Did you guys spend much time talking one-on-one about things that Yeah, I mean, at our lockers and stuff, you know, we would you know just talk about life and things that he's been through with football and myself, um, and then obviously just like the biggest thing for me was just you know sort of observing. Obviously at practice, yes, but like even in the locker room, how he's talking to guys and. Um, interacting with guys um, in the locker room. So um, whether he knows that or not, I learned a lot from him, and um, I'm very appreciative of that. Um, but, yeah, I think our relationship's great. You know, we're not – we never really had much time to go out, you know, outside of football and hang out or anything like that. But um, we do have a, a good relationship and can talk and catch up on a lot of good things. We get questions by, by us about your arm. Does Jimmy or do other players ask you how you're doing about your arm and just are they curious about the surgery? Yeah, I mean – you know, a lot of guys that I've talked to, they're like, you know, how you doing, how you feeling and stuff. So just catching up. Um, and so, yeah, I tell them, you know, where I'm at. I'm um, just still trying to, you know, work my way up um, in terms of volume, velocity, and throwing at practice and all that kind of stuff. Um, but, yeah, a lot of people are, are interested and curious and stuff. But they mean it in a, in a great way and in great intent um, just to check up and see how I'm doing. So. Are you satisfied with where you're at? Yeah. Yeah, in terms of my arm and everything. Yeah. Yeah, my arm feels great. Um, you know, just still building back to back days and, you know, trying to gain all the strength that I can back from obviously the, just the rehab process of things. And, and um, I feel really confident. So. Yeah, no, I think um, it's about the same. You know, you. As a thrower and a quarterback, you'd ask all the quarterbacks that we got. Um, a lot of us do a lot of soft tissue work and you just try to work out the soreness and then do some, you know, rehab exercises after. I've been doing that, you know, for the last however many years through college and stuff. So um, my routine really hasn't changed. I feel like I'm, you know, back to a normal routine with my arm and stuff. Um, so, so obviously taking care of it as much as I can on an off day and whatnot. But um, I feel, you know, almost back to normal. Are you like a pitcher? Do you ice your arm? Um, yeah, yeah, we do ice the arm with the heat, like contrast and stuff, just to create some blood flow, which promotes healing and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. So, when you're talking about 
Yeah, I might be a PT after this. Yeah. All right, thanks, guys. All right, guys. Thanks, y'all.